cash paper plus brand new. A hundred on the dash, I'ma come sick with soon. Throw it in the bag, don't nobody move. Comment 3i Atlas is weird. I took a picture. Ray's astrophotography is giving us some great information on 3i Atlas. We're spreading awareness and we're sharing the YouTube channel. Make sure y'all go over to Ray's astrophotography and subscribe to him. So without further ado, y'all know we came to do today. The fuse is lit. It is 11 a.m. Right. in the morning on a Saturday, November 15th. Okay. I took some pictures from four to six in the morning, had a long nap. I started looking at these Comet 3A Atlas pictures and every time I look at these pictures, they look different. Uh, one, some of the pictures with tail, I see the other day with no tail. Right. And some of these pictures have coma on one side, the others have coma on a different side and they change from picture to picture as well. So I was wondering, like, what is going on with these pictures and why this comet is looking uh, weird every time I look at it. So it occurred to me that this is an interstellar comet. It is flying at an incredible speed at 48 kilometers per uh, second. So it is, that speed is enough to escape the sun's gravity. So just a step back a little bit, if you wanted to leave the Earth in an aeroplane, you can't just fly towards space, you have to also fly at certain speed to escape from the Earth's gravity. Think of Earth gravity is like a, not a magnet, but like a vortex. So to escape that vortex, you have to fly at a certain speed. Same thing happens when something comes into the solar system. It has to also fly at certain speed. And this one, Comet 3 Atlas, is entering into our solar system and exiting at an incredible speed. So when I process these pictures, I process them like a traditional comet. And then when I started looking carefully into the data, I see a lot more to it. I wanted to share those pictures with you. So okay. if you haven't subscribed to my channel subscribe yet, Ray, please yeah. click on the subscribe button and the subscribe. notifications button. So when I post the new videos on astronomy or Comet 3 Atlas, you will get to see them. Let me show you those pictures. So here is the data that I got. I started looking at this data and trying to figure out if it is any different than the traditional comet. When I started looking at it, I see it is moving more like an asteroid than a comet. It does not have a tail. Sometimes it does have coma around it. I can definitely see that. Right. So what else is different in this that I need to see, right? So I said, okay, I got enough pictures. So let me combine all these pictures into one. So I took pictures. And I'm gonna say this, Ray, when I say you got the best equipment in the world, you got the best equipment in the world. We stamp it, all of us, the, the ones who know who come across this video, comment down below. Ray got the best equipment. There is no way that this man could come up with these kind of images. And, and, and the N-word, the N-word can come up with these images. That's all I'm going to say, man. Let's go, Ray. Let's go. 1 to 22. And then I combined these pictures. So I processed these pictures. And it combined those pictures and gave me a picture like this. It pretty much removed most of the stars that it can. And it gave me just the comet. Okay. It looks traditional comet. Nothing wrong with it. Right, it has right. coma uh, around it, right? And pretty much looking like a comet. So I was thinking it is a comet. Okay. And it is looking so it's okay. pretty normal. Things turned weird when I started looking at the data a bit more carefully. Let me show you. So I said, let me remove. And by the way, this is not a hoax. 
this man is for real. Like I said, subscribe to him. When he go live, you're going to see. This is the real thing right here, y'all. Subscribe to Ray, man. The background so that it is going to look slightly better. And I ran the background process so that at least it will come out and it shows a slightly better uh, picture now. There is no more haze around it. I can see the comet and I can see the coma. So this is looking really good. So then I said, let me try to make it darker, which is typically what we do for the background. So I made it the background slightly darker, nothing more than that. So now the contrast between the background is better to the comet. I did one more time the same background, so it gets a bit more darker, Dark. right? Yeah. I did one more time. So now my background is slightly darker and I'm seeing the comet picture. I said, this is looking noisy. Let's, let me remove the noise. This picture looked better than that picture they showed the other day. N-word, N-word. Yeah, and that's why I said, go to Ray, y'all. Anytime y'all want to know something about this, just go to Ray. What? I mean, he, he being honest about everything, and he really doing the work. He doing it right in front of you. Let's go. Right? So I removed the noise so that the picture is not no more grainy and it looks sharper. Right. You are literally seeing any process that anyone does to process a comet picture, whether it is an astrophotographer or somebody at NASA or anybody else. That's what they do. So you get a beautiful... But they, that's not what they did, right? You saw it. They, they didn't do this. Picture you can combine with the stars and we can say that this is the comet. There is another process that I did, which is going to make this process sharper. That's when things started getting weird. So right now it looks pretty much like a comet with some coma around it. And I said, let me make slightly sharper this image. Slightly sharper, let's go. So that I can clearly see. Now I'm seeing just the comet. So you mean to tell me the N-word couldn't get no, just a clear one like this? Because what I saw, what they were showing us, like, come on, man, like, stop it. And this is why I said sometimes you just can't be believing everything y'all see, man. Do your own research. Much coma around it. So I was thinking there should be some coma around it. I don't want to remove all of it. Right. And then I wanted to bring it out, that coma, if it is out there. And I said, let's let's bring it up, that, that coma in the background. I was trying to play with it, and I started seeing a whole bunch of coma there. I watched carefully, and I was looking at that. That's what the coma that I'm seeing when I... I know the picture is looking sharp now, right? You can go back to the previous picture. This is how the picture was. See that? Right? Around it. And when I made it sharp, this is how it came in. And I made it the you know the dark background I removed and I brought the background a little I'm gonna ask again, I'm gonna ask this question again. Why that they have billions of dollars of equipment, man? Like why they don't break videos down like this? Like why is it that we get people like Ray? that use their hard own money to pay for this equipment to show the world this man why they can't do this like good job right good job more bright and i'm seeing this and when i started seeing this i see some kind of a shape which is like some picture shape. here i said i only did sharpening once can i sharp this one more time what am i looking at here Right? So I right up in here. took the sharpness and I added more sharpness to it. And now the picture is looking sharper. And I can oh, see no. the coma is also getting 
Daylight. a bit more sharp. I said, let's do it again. Do it again. See what happens if I... I'm seeing more... Like right here. I see structure that. in that cloud. It made me a, a bit more into intrigued. And I was playing almost like a child. Play like a child. I wanted to see what happens if I process more. Right? And they said you can't play like a child. But this is what playing like a child is, y'all. Right here. This is what you do when you play like a child. Just keep going. I kept right? doing sharpening over and over again right. until I figured out what what happens if that is the case. I was doing I was literally playing like a kid. I was looking at what what comes out of this object. I know it's getting sharper. It is. And after few sharpening uh, activities, I can clearly see there is a bit of a structure here. This reminds me more. Let me show you the picture. Okay, show us. So it reminded me of a picture bolt. of the supersonic jet when it is flying at an incredible speed. This is one thing that occurred to me. And also, I looked at the heliosphere when some object leaves the Earth and if it is going to break the solar system's gravity, it is going to go through that heliopause uh, for it to get out of the solar system. And I was looking at the speed at which this is traveling. I was comparing various objects like Starship, Look at the information that he's displaying, y'all. Like, I'm going to say it again. Great job, Ray. Great job, man. Major, what speed it is traveling? What is 3 Atlas doing, right? So it all makes sense to me that even though this may be a comet, an asteroid, or an object from interstellar, it's also flying at an incredible speed. So we should not look at like a traditional comet. Right. We should look at this as an interstellar object. That he just said it. So that's what we should look at it as. It's that, it's that simple. And he doing all the work too, by the way. But well, I'm going to go back to this part right here to where he was saying, I'm looking at it and I see the mist behind it. I don't really see like a part up here. But this part right here from what if this is the front and this is the body what bro what are you talking about man we don't know though but let's proceed let's pro he's flying at an incredible speed and it has a weird structure when it is flying that way a so weird please structure. do subscribe to my channel and click on the notifications so when i post these new videos you will get a notification whether it's uh, 3 Atlas or any other astronomy videos. Subscribe to Thank Ray. You.